episode in the previous video we have seen how to create this uh, login page and this sort of a uh, form area so now let's see how to create uh, this input component in more modularized fashion okay so uh, first we need uh, several uh, packages so I will uh, explain you why we need these packages in later on uh, but for now it's just installed it so first package I need is for me and the second package is basically yeah so these packages can be used for the uh, authentication stuff at the front end so we don't need to redeclare a uh, lot of codes right because these packages have uh, inbuilt functionalities to handle all of those necessary um, front end form validation so when it comes to development it will be very easy for us we just need to uh, import this uh, package functionalities and do the necessary changes okay so uh, then uh, we can use this formic component inside our form and uh, we can use this yup objects to do the necessary uh, react validation uh, but right now my focus is not to do those authentications but uh, but to create these sort of a uh, input component uh, in a more uh, modularized way right so uh, let's go to this input component and make it is more uh, reusable okay so first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to remove these email uh, stuff and placeholders and these error text because we need to uh, change this stuff according to the uh, requirement that we want so first uh, i don't go uh, in the uh, you know all the way which means uh, we can use this uh, uh, path and name likewise we can have separate properties for these email and placeholder and error text so what i'm going to do is i'm going to use the formic and yap to handle all of those necessary steps so then it will be very easy for us to build a more robust uh, form so first thing i need to import is uh, use field from the formic then the second thing is we need error message okay so these are basically use field is a, uh, a react hook defined inside this formic library and error message is a uh, a component a react component uh, also defined within this formic library right so these components are required to gather necessary details to uh, populate our input field and uh, to dis display our error messages if they are so uh, yeah let's use those stuff so inside this input now we don't need it has to be text so based on the type or based on the requirement this type can be different so it can be text or it can be password or it can be email or it can be a select box or checkbox or whatever you like so what we can do is we can use this use field hook to define that specific type so first i need to initialize that hook so i will uh, define a constant field and meta and we can use this use field object based on the props that we are passing uh, within this input component. So these props can be uh, different. Therefore, I will use these uh, three dots. Then it will uh, basically populate all the necessary properties inside this use field. Right? Otherwise, we need to declare separate properties by uh one by one but if i uh, use this spread operator what javascript basically do is it will gather all the necessary properties and populate all this field okay 
then uh, obviously we need the placeholder value as well so i will go and i will uh, require placeholder property like this then uh, yeah so the props will be passed to the use field and the use field comes on the formic library so formic will initialize the necessary field and metadata for us then we can use this field to get the necessary type of our input field and these inputs must have a name otherwise we can't actually take the data out of it so field name also required then this placeholder will be different based on the input that we are passing therefore i will use this placeholder props over here then uh, if there is any other field or props that we require we need to populate over this area therefore i will use this spread operator so fields are spreaded and uh, other necessary props are spreaded over here okay then uh, yeah then we need to handle our error functions as well so i will use this error message object or component and it has associated field name like this so whatever error associated with specific input that error message will be handled over here right and uh, we don't need this error message to display every time uh, so let's say we need to display this error message if there exists an error or if we have uh, touched our input but we have not entered anything right so we need to handle those uh, functionalities as well therefore what we can do is we can use this meta functionality so this meta comes under this use field hook then uh, we can use this meta to uh, find out whether we have actual error or we have touched our input therefore i will use this meta over here so if meta touched which means we have uh, touched our input but we haven't haven't entered anything or if we have error which means we have actual error therefore if those stuff are passed we need to render this component otherwise they are won't be displaying a, an error message so that's the logic behind that meta functionality uh yeah so now i think uh, our component is okay but uh, later on maybe we can add few changes as well so if i go to the page again and refresh it now uh, it doesn't show me anything because i haven't passed necessary details to that uh, input component right so there are several errors uh, within that input components because i have to pass the necessary information so i can go to the uh, logging page again and inside this input component now i have to pass uh, several details and uh, before passing those details since i have been used formic library i have to configure formic within this page as well so therefore i will uh, include formic over here and i need form form as well right then uh, those uh, formic and uh, formic and form needs to be passed over here inside our form uh, so let's say this is our form or let's say this is our form then what i have to do is call the formic over here and let's take the entire stuff okay so i, I don't need this stuff but i need this input inside this formic wrapper right 
So inside this formic wrapper, what it basically do is it will generate the necessary objects depending on the requirement we want. And so since I have been used formic library, we have to instantiate that uh, formic uh, hook as well. Um, yeah. So what we can do is instead of defining formic uh, hook again. Uh, maybe we can call an arrow function over here, then it will automatically generate the necessary uh, formic components for us. So I will use an array function. So I will let's say uh, formic as a parameter, but most of the time we, we won't be using this property. But if it is required, we can use this property. Uh, so inside the uh, arrow function we need to render our uh, form component so inside this form component we need to pass our input okay. so that way we can use the necessary metadata and field information uh, passed by this formic library so inside this input we need to pass the necessary uh, props as well plus a placeholder value so first thing i require is a key because we have used the error function so react will automatically generate these components therefore any automatically generated component must have a key otherwise react doesn't know how to distinguish between separate objects so let's say first input is associated with email and the type is let's say text and name let's say also email and uh, placeholder let's say uh, and uh, your email and uh, yeah that's it so later on we need to uh, gather the details as well because whatever input we are uh, typing within this input component we need to take that uh, value outside from this component so we need to define the necessary functions as well but if i now go to the logging page now we can see there is no errors and the component is rendered so if i refresh it again there won't be any errors right so in the similar fashion we can declare another input for our password so i will make this as password and it is having the type of password the name is also password and uh, i will make this as enter your password uh, okay so we have this component but uh, its label is same as before so let's check why is that Okay, because uh, we haven't uh, we haven't actually called that here, right? The field name. So field name. Okay, now it has a uh, sort of a uh, label and the necessary placeholder values. But uh, you can see if I click input page uh, click the input component it will generate some sort of errors because i haven't uh, added the necessary functionalities to take that uh, meta information right but uh, for now it works correctly and uh, you can see it can't read email and stuff like that because we haven't passed those values yet okay so uh what I can do is now uh, to gather those informations as well by using yeah. Uh, so in the next video, I will showcase you how to use yup to gather the necessary data from these uh, formic components.